Okay, so let's talk about RSC curves for algorithms. So as I mentioned, RSC curves can be produced two ways. One is to use a single real value classifier. And in that case, the RSC curve evaluates the classifier. Now, in this lecture, I'm going to talk about how you can evaluate a whole algorithm um, use, by creating an RSC curve for the algorithm. And the way we're going to do that is by sweeping the imbalance parameter across the full across its full range. And in that case, the RSC curve evaluates the algorithm. OK, so let's talk about how we do this. So let's set C, our imbalance parameter, all the way to one extreme. So at this point, it thinks that a positive is worth a tiny, tiny amount compared to a negative, right? So each positive is worth 0. 0.0001 of a negative. And so because of that, um, the classifier doesn't care about positives and it just votes everything as negative. So that's what this classifier here is. So now um, I'm going to just adjust the, the value of C. And so now it's 0.2. Uh, so here, well, the positives are worth something. So it at least gets a few positive rights, but it refuses to get any negatives um, wrong. Okay. So let's keep adjusting it and we'll keep getting different decision boundaries because remember, we're rerunning the algorithm over and over again. And then here we've gotten C all the way to the other extreme where all it cares about is positives and it doesn't care about negatives at all. In that case, um, you're just voting everything as, as positive. Okay, so now we, when we were doing this, when we were doing this sweeping here, we actually had kept track of the true positive rate and the false positive rate. And so we're gonna plot them against each other in a scatter plot to produce this new kind of ROC curve for a whole classifier. Okay, so here we produce we, we trace out the ROC curve and we get the whole ROC curve. And again, we can calculate the area under the curve um, as the AUC is like a single number to characterize the quality of that ROC curve. Okay, so just to summarize, ROC curves can be produced in two ways. One for a single, uh, val a single real value classifier. In that case, the ROC curve evaluates the classifier. And, and, and then on the other perspective, when you sweep this imbalance parameter down and run the algorithm over and over again, you now have a, an RSC curve for a whole algorithm, and it's evaluating the algorithm. Okay, now um, I usually people ask me, well, which one's which? You know, which one is better? And the answer is they're not comparable because one is a property of an algorithm, and the other is a property of a single model. But the one thing I can tell you is that um, the RSC curves for algorithms tend to be maybe a little bit better than the RSC curves for single models. And so why is that? Um, and the answer is that when you're creating the RSC curve for the whole classifier, you're actually optimizing every single point on that curve, right? The way every point on that curve was constructed was by choosing an imbalance parameter and running an optimization method to get to that point on that curve. Whereas, the RSC curve for a single classifier, that single classifier, there was only one optimization that went into that classifier because you produce just, it's just one model. And so um, the RSC curve for the whole algorithm has an advantage over the, over the model that wasn't, um, that wasn't specifically optimized for any point on that curve. Okay, thank you.